The Living Wedge got started uh, by one of our fifth grade teachers, John Spence, who has a passion uh, for the natural world. And uh, he saw the space in our building as an opportunity to kind of create an, a museum interactive atmosphere for our kids and uh, turn what we call the wedge into what we now call the Living Wedge. For my love for reptiles and amphibians, mostly uh, we've had snakes and lizards and things like that. But uh, and then within the classroom, I had a number of um, nature-related items, taxidermy items, to get kids interested in um, science. And uh, but uh, when I came over to Matoka three years ago, I kind of realized that you know having these things in my classroom, uh, they only benefit the kids that were in my room. The whole vision of this was, you know, almost like a Norman Rockwell painting to just see kids with their faces peered into every uh, aquarium and seeing things and it's been nice to see them so excited. We have uh, inland bearded dragons which are from Australia. They're extremely gentle animals. We have freshwater eel in there, we have some fish and then we'll probably do what we did last year which is bringing in local specimens like bluegill uh, and put them in there so that the kids can also see what's found around here. We have three Senegal chameleons from Africa that we purchased last year which are really great, um, in many ways such a great uh, exhibit to have for the kids. Over here we have uh, local specimens of baby turtles that were hatched this summer. We also have um, a huge colony of African, uh, excuse me, Madagascar hissing cockroaches uh, and those uh, we keep in the classroom. Uh, the kids and I raise mealworms all year long super, uh, and then large superworms. They also feed uh, the lizards and some of the animals that do eat invertebrates. I've always had snakes in my classroom, uh, however, uh, snakes aren't the most welcome critter to have out here in the open. I think for me as principal at Matoka, the Living Wedge just supports a message that we try to get out to our families that uh, we're not all about just reading or math or science or the fine arts. Uh, we try to balance out everything and for us this really uh, helps us to send a message to our learning community that the natural world has a great place and it's an important place.